So basically, whoever requested this, um, this would have came from corporate. Um, they ask um, to pull rental agreements, records for this particular um, renter. Um, and they wanted information on December 2014 through March 2016. So is it fair to say that this first page of this document only covers that time period listed next to reporting period? That is correct. Okay. All right. What is a transactional Excuse me, a transaction detail for legal service, a legal inquiries report. Um, so any investigation, that's what this would be. So let's say an investigator came and there was a robbery or whatever, um, or shooting or whatnot, then they would request, um, if they have a person of interest, they would say, hey, I want to see what, how many cars have you rented from? this time or that time. So that's what this is. So it's basically a summary of um, all the rental agreements. And what this report does is it captures, um, it captures every rental that that person has rented um, in that period that you inquire. Okay, so for the time period um, associated with December 14th, March 2016, on the first page of this document identified in the state's 338 Yankee, is there a renter or a uh, subject associated with this inquiry? Yes. Who is that? What? Uh, who's that person? Jeff, Jeffrey Williams. Okay. And um, is there a driver's license associated with this query for this first page of six three thirty eight Yankee? Yes. What is the driver's license number associated with this query for this three thirty eight Yankee uh, exhibit? Uh, zero five. 617-1650-GA. All right. I see, uh, do you see a, a segment um, associated uh, with license plate number on this first page of this document? Yes. Is it blank? The license? Oh, yeah, that is, yes. Why would that be blank? Do you know? So basically... Um, you're going to have multiple rentals, um, so it's it's going to list it under the transaction. All right. So now turning to your, um, the, do you see just beneath license plate of the, a set of boxes? Yes. Okay. Starting with the first uh, line of boxes going horizontally, what is the RA number listed on the first line of that graph that you see there? 103-976-202. And does that, uh, is that, a, a, when it says RA number, is that pertaining to a rental agreement? Correct. Okay. I am going to re-approach you with uh, state's exhibits uh, 332 and 333, excuse me, 332 and 334 Yankee, both Yankee. And I'm going to position them as so for ease of reference. On the first line of that, uh, on the first line of uh, State's Exhibit uh, 338 Yankee, um, um, where you just read the rental agreement number, does that rental agreement number correspond to what uh, rental agreement number is located on State's 332 Yankee? Yes. All right. And what is located on States 332? What is the rental record number associated with States 332? That's 103-976-202. All right. Now I'm going to turn your attention back to States 338. Okay. All right. And uh, is there a checkout state associated with that rental? Uh, that occurred? Well, let me ask you this. Is there a checkout date associated with uh, with the first rental that you just described? Yes. What is the checkout date? January 2nd, 2015. Is there a checkout state associated with that first uh, rental? I'm sorry? Is there a checkout state? Yes. Okay. Sorry. What state is that? That's Georgia. And uh, the checkout location ID, is there one associated with that as well? Yes. What do you see on that first line of the state's 338 game? USGAATL11. And uh, do you see also a checkout location description? <coughs> yes. 
And um, what is it that you see on State 338 Yankee as the checkout location in the street? Atlanta Hartsville International. Okay. Um, do you also see a check-in date associated with that first rental by Mr. Ritter? Yes. And what is that check-in date? January 7, 2015. And does the checkout date and the check-in date correspond? Is the checkout date on the <coughs> State 338 Yankee as well as the check-in date correspond to what is located on States 332 Yankee, uh, which is the rental agreement? Yes. <clears throat> what is the check-in state associated with the first rental made by Mr. Williams? The check-in state? Yes, sir. Georgia. And is there a check-in location ID associated with that first rental by Mr. Williams? Yes. Okay. What is the check-in um, location? Atlanta Airport. Okay. And uh, is there a date of birth associated with State 338 Yankee? Yes. Does that date of birth correspond with what has already been previously identified and admitted in the evidence as State 333 Yankee? Um, and I'm turning your attention to um, page... Page seven of that document. Yes. Okay. And um, is there a license plate number associated with uh, this first rental by Mr. Williams? And if you can turn uh, slide the exhibit over just a little bit, Mr. Uh, for the jury to see. Is there a license plate number associated with states 330? Yes. Uh, in, in, in? Mm -hmm. yeah. And what is that license plate number associated with that first one? CCK 1725, Georgia. And does that license plate correspond with the first one uh, that Mr. Uh, Williams uh, made on January the 2nd um, that uh, basing your attention on states 332 Yankee? Yes. Okay. And uh, based on states 338 Yankee, and if you can go over just a little bit more, Mr. Atkins. All right. Um, is there a VIN number associated with that first rental that Mr. Williams had? Yes. What is the VIN number? 1G1YF207 2EN. Okay. okay, and I am turning your attention now to States 333 Yankee. Uh, does that VIN number that you just called off uh, that you read from States 338 Yankee correspond to what is listed on States uh, 3... <coughs> just a brief moment, Ms. Weaver. 333 Yankee. Does that VIN number correspond to that document? Yes. Okay. Um, basically, turning your attention back to States 338 Yankee. Um, is there a total amount of miles driven on this first rental by Mr. Williams? There is. How many total miles did uh, he drive? 279 miles. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to direct your attention to the second box on that same diagram that is shown on State 338 Yankee. And if you can um, slide the exhibit over just all the way to the left, uh, A.D. Atkins. Thank you. And uh, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what, if any, re uh, rental agreement number is associated with Mr. Williams' second rental uh, that you see on States 338 Yankee? So that's 105-939-735. Does that rental agreement number correspond to what is featured on States Exhibit 334 Yankee? Yes. And does that correspond also to States what is shown on States 335 Yankee? Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to now direct your attention to the checkout date associated with the second rental um, that Mr. Williams made from the Atlanta Hertzville Jackson Airport. Was the checkout date associated with that second one? Yes, January 7, 2015. Is there a checkout state associated with his second one? Georgia. Is there a checkout location and ID associated with his second one? Yeah, USGAATL11. Is there a checkout location description associated with that second one? 
Atlanta Hartsfield International, yes. Is there a check in date associated with that second one? January 11, 2015. Where was the check in state for that second rental? Georgia. <clears throat> Is there a check in location ID for that second one? Yes. Can you describe or tell the jury what that check in uh, location identification is? Al Atlanta Hartsfield International Airport. Thank you. And uh, if you go over a little bit more for Mr. Williams' second, all right? The second rental, is there a date of birth associated with the second one? Yes. Okay, what is the date of birth that you see on Stacey 338 Yankee? August 16th, 1991. And I am now directing your attention to Stacey Exhibit 335 Yankee. Do you see the same date of birth listed on Stacey 335 Yankee as listed on Stacey 338 Yankee for Mr. Williams? Yes. Okay, and uh, what is it that you see on stage 335 Yankee? Uh, 335 Yankee, Mr. Williams. That's August 16th, 1991. Okay, all right. And I want to turn your attention now um, to the credit card in a number uh, prefix. Uh, do you see that column for this exhibit on stage 338 Yankee? Yes. All right, do you see... Uh, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury if those card numbers are different or they're the same? They're the same. Okay. And uh, do you see a driver's license associated with uh, this, uh, the, the next to that co column uh, for credit card in, uh, number prefix? Yes. Um, is the driver's license the same or different that was used by Mr. Williams? It is the same. Okay. Um, turning your attention over to the license plate number in the second horizontal uh, uh, column or, or excuse me, um, uh, line of running through there. Do you see the second um, line of that um, column yes. of that diagram? Yes. And what is the license plate number associated with the second one by Mr. Williams? It's S322US. And is there a license plate state associated with the S32US driver's license? I mean, the license plate number. Yes, Florida. Okay. And is there a vehicle identification number associated with that same rental? Yes. Okay. Um, can, you, uh, for the, can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what you see that uh, identification number to be, the VIN number? Okay. So that's JN1BV7AP7EM. Six eight zero nine six five. Okay. Um, I am now turning your attention back to states three thirty five Yankee, uh, and I would like for you to tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury: Does the license plate number that is shown on states three thirty eight for the rental occurring on January seventh match what is listed on states three thirty five Yankee uh, on page five? Yes. Does the License plate state match what is shown on. Is the license plate state listed on states exhibit 338 Yankee match what is shown on states 335 uh, Yankee? Yes. Does the vehicle identification number listed on states 338 Yankee match what is shown on states 335 Yankee? Yes. Okay. And uh, how many total miles did Mr. Williams drive on his vehicle? 271 miles. What do you see on State's Exhibit 338 Yankee to the right mm -hmm. as the card number used for both the January 7th rental of the Corvette Stingray and the January uh, 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 the January 7th to the January 2nd rental of the Corvette Stingray and the January 7th rental of the uh, Q50 Infinity with the sunroof? Uh, <laughs> 53486 Nine XX. Okay, and is that the same card number used for both rentals occurring on uh, on that shown on that page of states three thirty eight Yankee? Yes. And does that card number that you seen on states three thirty eight Yankee correspond with what is shown on states three thirty three Yankee? Yes. Okay. Um, and does that card number also correspond with what is shown on states three thirty five Yankee? Yes. And was that card number that was just called out on both the first pages of states 335 Yankee and 333 Yankee? Yes. Okay. All right. Earlier, 
during her testimony, do you recall indicating that there had to be a mag signature associated with the rental each rental? Yes. What did you mean by that? Um, so basically, um, it's kind of like when you go in a store, how they have the, you know, the box where you swipe your card and you sign the box. So back in the old days, we used to sign the contract with a pen, um, but MAG is where they capture the signature electronically. Okay. And um, I want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the state's exhibit, uh, identified as state's 332 Yankee. Mm -hmm. And um, do you see a signature associated with this uh, particular exhibit, space exhibit 332 Yankee? Yes. All right. What signature do you, oh, excuse me. Um, and does this signature pertain to the, uh, the rental of the uh, Corvette, 2014 Corvette Stingray? Yes. Okay. And I want to go back to page one of this same document. And do you see a name associated with this particular uh, state's exhibit uh, for this room, for this court red steamer? Yes. What is the name? Jeffrey Williams. All right. All right. Now you can go all the way to the bottom of the first exhibit that we just did this with. Can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury if you see a signature associated with this uh, rental agreement? Yes. And um, it, does this rental agreement pertain to the 2014 250? Uh, infinity with the sunroof? Yes. And, we, and let's go to the first page of this document. And on the first page of this document, do you see a renter's name associated with this Q50 Infinity <laughs> with the sunroof? Yes. And uh, what is the name of that person who rented this vehicle? Jeffrey Williams. Right. I am now going to publish. Basic. Well, let me ask you a few questions first. Um, as a part of being in the managerial um, roles uh, at Hertz, mm -hmm. uh, would you have any benefits or perks? Yes. It's very relevant. I sustain the objection. I, I, I'll ask something more specific. Um, Let's get to it. Yes, sir. Are you familiar with uh, 2014 Q50 Infinity? Yes. How are you familiar with that particular make and model of the car specifically? Um, I mean, we rented Infinities, um, pretty much all the models. Um, the Q50 is one that um, that I've driven before, um, and, and yeah. Okay. Have you ever driven a person, uh, personally a, uh, a Q50 Infinity? I have. Okay. And uh, was that your car? Um, so I had a driving privilege. Okay. Um, so yeah, I could drive anything. Okay. And when you say uh, when you say driving privilege, what does that mean? So that means part of um, which goes back to um, part of the job, um, which is included in the salary, is you know for the twenty six and a half years that I worked for Hertz, I didn't own a car. I drove a Hertz car. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long did you drive the Q fifty Infinity? That you just so part of um, with our positions, um, the car had to be turned in weekly, um, but that wasn't to stop you from just switching into another Q50 if that's what your preference was. Okay, but how long did you drive? It was too small for me. I, okay. I dr I've driven them, but yeah, it's kind of small. Okay. For the ladies and gentlemen of the jury, can you please circle if you see a Q50 Infinity? On the screen. This. Can you describe um, the uh, color that you can see this Q50 in? So, so, yeah, this one is silver. Okay. Um, but, yeah, this is a Q50. And can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury if you see a date in the bottom left hand corner of this screen? Yes, January 10th, 2015. And did Hertz run a car Atlanta airport, based on the records that have been admitted into evidence, rent a Q50 Infinity 2014 with the sun around or about the time that this Q50 Infinity appears on this front? Uh, yes. And to whom did Hertz Infinity rent a Q50 
in Infinity 2014 with the sun roof around or about the date associated at the bottom of this frame? So yeah, this would have been um, a Jeffrey Williams rental. No further questions, Judge. Counsel's approach, please.